What's the Zenless Zone Zero game that I keep getting recommended? Gee Willikers, may maybe I should... Maybe I should check it out, you know? The fuck is it called again? Zen Zenless Zone Zero. Gee Willikers, this game looks fucking... Oh, it's in the Hoyoverse. Ugh. Of course it's in the Hoyoverse. Bro, these guys are like... These guys are like... God tier at creating gotcha games at this point and just making a fuck ton of money off of them. They have, they have Honkai Star Rail, which they just recently released anyways. Honkai thir Impact 3rd. Another one. And Genshin Impact, the most popular fucking curse of a product. What the hell is this? No, 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 wait, don't download it. What the fuck? This game does look very, um, stylized, though. But. Right. The hell is it? This is a Sony game? Okay, well, what the hell is it? Came out on the 4th. The fuck is this shit? It's a free-to-play role-playing game. You. What's the website? Here's the actual website. Okay. There's two different websites. Wait, what the hell is this website that I clicked on? It's like a sponsored one, but this is the. What? Why is there two different? Okay, whatever. All right, click, click the download. Download this now. Uh, no. Why is it playing music? Shut up. Show me the actual fucking website, you fucks. I like the art style, but the hell is this? Okay. So they have the Sons of Kaladin or some shit. Criminal Investigation Response Team. Maybe that's the based one. Section 6. Oh, these are the... This is the... The criminals. Bella... Bella Bog. This is the, um... Carpenters. Victoria Housekeeping. The Wenches. Cunning Hairs. The Freaks. And that's it. We got we got the, the two mechanics. The based response team. The hood. The carpenters. Oh, they actually have their own unique pictures for each one. They only get two people for some of them. I don't care about the fucking... Oh, this is like the, the street gang. Gentle house. This is the street, street gang. Here's the fucking cringe RPers. Here's the carpenters. <laughs> cool. Those are the characters. What's the background? What's the lore? What is this? Bang boo. They have like full like these websites are like high quality. Which is unfortunate. <sighs> I I wonder if it's just a different team of people who work on these for Hoyover specifically. Guide. What's the news and info? Travel across the Hoyoverse. Oh god. I hate that. So 
Soldier 11 character teaser. What the fuck? Okay. Well, that's that. Teen. Suggestive themes and violence. Suggestive themes. What do you mean by suggestive themes? So we have the criminal investigation. We have Seth Lowell. Uh, a cat guy. Cat boy. We have... Ki... Ki... King Kingy. We have Piper Wheel. Okay. We have Lucy. Zhu Yuan. Yan Zhu Yan. I don't know. Ellen. Joe. <laughs> Joe Mama. Alexandria. Sebastian or some something. Grace. Oh. Oh? Grace Howard? Tomboy? Hoshi... Hoshimi... My... Mayabi... Section 6. She has a cool katana. I like her, uh... Outfit design. That's cool. So... Sokak... Sokaka... Sokaku? Who? Yeah, Ben Bigger. It's just a bear with chains. And Antoine Ivana Evanov. I don't fucking know. Coleda Bailobog. Von Lickeon. Corn Wicks. Ne Neko Mia Mana. Soldier Eleven, Billy Kid, Nicole Demara. They have a lot of characters to start off with. Anne B. Demara, sisters, I guess. That's the mall. There they are. I guess this game must. This game must suck if nobody's um playing it on Twitch. At least anybody that I'm following. I don't think a single person is playing this on Twitch. That I'm aware of. Let me see. World Z? No. Super Smash Bros? Melee? Let's see what- let's see what, um... Let's see what, uh, PPMD's doing. We learned from the legends. Okay, this is this is an ad. I can't play this. Nobody's playing this game. This game that I'm talking about, the Zen game or whatever. So it must not be that good. Nobody's talking about it. All right, let's watch. Hi, PP. Hi, PPMD. <laughs> okay, anyways. Alright, let's, uh, let's play some Death Road to Canada. Oh yeah, wait, first I need to, I need to turn the, I forgot, I forgot I'm, I'm a, I'm a flesh tuber now. Time to flesh tube.
Do, 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 do. Let's start this. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Yeah, after we finished last stream, I looked at the game on Steam, and it was only like three bucks. I'm like, three bucks? Let's go! Oh, my ears. Uh, here. Let me turn it up for you. There you go. Turn it down just a little bit. Okay. So, I'm gonna be playing with a controller for now. Bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna ignore that one. Oh. I actually really like this character. BB. <laughs> I like BB. It's fun. I don't like sh I don't like this character. Give me like a funny character. I'm not gonna look. I'm not- I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Arlie. Well, we have two surges. We can't have that. Alright, hold on. Closing my eyes. Jameson. <laughs> this looks like, um, what's his name? The guy that kind of looks like Simon from, uh, from Yogg's cast, but isn't. I think it's something Cox. Looks kind of like him. Whoa, look at this badass. Blaine and BB. Blaine and BB. I feel like BB would be the buddy and Blaine would be the leader. Kinda looks like a he kinda looks like a badass version of Charlie Sheen. I kinda like this. I was gonna show you the two characters we were gonna play with, but we let's start it let's start a basic round. Let's just see what happens. BB hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the tr uh, threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, she decides to brave the death road and travel north. Our stats go from 0 to 6. A, um, a stat of 0 to 1 will usually automatically fail. 5 to 6 usually succeeds. Oh. Okay. Hit the road. Alright. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need uh, to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow your team. Okay, so we have a quiet factory, quiet hotel, or a Yalmart. Quiet factory would definitely carry more fuel than food. Yalmart would carry some f food. Quiet motel would probably have um, the most of it. Um, both best of both worlds just assuming that's correct so we actually don't know much about our characters here all right bb and blaine let's go the odd the odd team team up oh shoot watch out bb it's like BB from, <laughs> from, uh, imagine she's like a god tier, like, shooter. No, her aim sucks. Nice. But every zombie will hear that now. Oh, actually, no. Why isn't we not? Ooh, zombie points. Nice. That's a good find. Molotov. I actually have never seen a Molotov yet in my gameplay. I was playing a little bit of this on my own to see if I could get some um, upgrades or whatever.
Oh god. I still need to upload the um the previous streams that we've had. I'm starting to get a little bit of a backlog, but work's been busy. Life's been busy. Unfortunately. So I haven't really had much time to really think about it. And just try to fucking relax as much as possible. It fucking sucks, dude. I hate work. I hate things that are blocking me from being creative, but whatever. Get out of here. I learned that some tools in this game are unbreakable. Some weapons are just straight up unbreakable. M a lot of them are. The group finds a large campsite that is occupied by a few carloads of other survivors. Camping with uh, strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to go. None are heading to Canada. Do we drive off with no sleep or camp with them? I think we... I think we drive off with no sleep. They're not Canadian, so they're not gonna be nice. The group meets a woman limping around uh, with a, church, a crutch. One of her legs was wounded in a recent fall as she was getting away from zombies. Help her leg. BB helps her leg. BB tries to uh, treat the woman busted leg. She has no idea what she's doing wasted day and maybe makes things a little worse. Morale decreases. Medical sucks apparently. Loyalty is revealed. Group lose, uh, eats a decent meal. Morale is increased. And they lose one medical. I wonder. Wait, what is your, what is your, uh, your, your gourmand? So you eat more food? And your perk is surgeon. You're a surgeon. Aren't you supposed to know this stuff? Well, at least we know her loyalty is good. Her morale is good, but... What about Blaine? We don't know much about Blaine other than his wits are good. The group drives into a city as it starts to get dark. Try not to lose track of time. Things can get bad after the sun sets. Oh, it's near sunset. That's not good. Um... Your zombie forecast is sparse, sluggish, and near sunset. Here, let's go ahead and drop this knife into here. Although this kitchen knife is pretty ass. Just put those there. A scalpel. Alright, so we gotta be quick. Let's zoom. Nothing in here. Do 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 Oh my gosh, is that a- is that- was that a loot crate? Was that one of the loot crates from back in like 2016 where everybody was doing loot crate videos? I have two Molotovs. Okay, so they stack. Scalpel's not that bad, surprisingly. Surprisingly. Hey, more zombie points. Nice. Alright, let's go. Hurry. I should have grabbed a flashlight. But, it is what it is. Okay. Let's go to the main attraction first. Horn. Oh my god. Ooh. 
Ooh, shit, a machete. Rusty machete, though. Baseball bat, a cricket bat. Yeah, grab one of these. Yeah. Nice. I think the rusty machete, like... Won't be good eventually, but for now it'll be fine. I don't see anything worthwhile here. Let's go. Nothing in here. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. This thing is very strange. Get it out of here. Get rid of this kitchen knife because it, you have those everywhere. You got a baseball bat. You got that scalpel. I do like the baseball bat. It's a good weapon. Frying pan never breaks. Here, give him the scalpel. Keep the machete for now. We have a bow and arrow. Oh, that's cool if you double click it. Maybe we should pass the next town. The group sets camp up for uh, for the night. Um, after being sure there's no danger here, they discover edible berry bushes all around the campsite. Berries wouldn't be a big amount of food for the work. Sleepless night. Yeah, sure. They get a decent meal out of it. They're gonna be tired, but... If you tie a string around your finger real tight, your finger will turn purple. Why would I need to know that, Blaine? Who cares? <gasps> the group finds a waterlogged store. There's a lot, um of mannequins inside, barely visible in the darkness. The whole store is especially creepy. There may be some moldy supplies left in there. Um, send everybody in. Nice. The group enters the dark and creepy store. Everyone gets- keeps fairly calm. The store is looted without incident. BB's composure revealed is meh. Blaine's composure revealed is very good. We got 10 food and 7 medical. That is very good. We just don't have much gas. I could never get tired of canned meat. I don't think I'd ever get tired of canned meat. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging and trade, with preserved food being the new currency. You have 31 food left. The group runs into a trading camp. Sure. Let's see what they got. Group meets a woman wearing oil-stained coveralls. I can help get a better, uh, get you better at repairing stuff. It's a real handy skill. Might save your life. High mechanic skill lets you fix your car. You have 31 food. Leave for now. We'll see what else we have. A man selling anime and anime accessories from a converted food truck. I'm doing my part by keeping civilization together one anime, uh, one anime sale at a time. I could buy four katanas for five food. I, I'm going to assume the katanas are complete garbage considering it's only five food for four of them. An anime figurine, however, is 10 food. And a wind star is 15 food. So that would be the better thing to get. I don't know what a wind star is. The group talks to a meek looking woman. She invites you to check out her collection of rifles. I found s so many that I'm uh, looking to sell some. Assault rifle for 25, cowboy rifle for 10, hunting rifle for 15. I feel like the assault rifle would be very good to have, but also, uh, yeah, I don't want to waste 25 food for an assault rifle when I need the food, and food is kind of very hard to come by. 
for some reason. I guess I could get the wind star. I don't know what it is. This is the official wind star used in the live action version of the wind star anime. Excellent choice. Buys a gigantic throwing star. Oh, it was a throwing star. Oops. That was a waste of money. Oh, I probably could have used it to train them in mechanics. Wow. Wind shuriken. Guess I'll give it a try. Why couldn't we all just get along? Group finds a new person, Jerlene. She's alone. She wants to join the team. Claims to be really strong. She talks about the past life as a lumberjack. Sure. Welcome to the team, Jerlene. She must be super strong. She has a sledgehammer. I'm gonna try this, uh, this wind shuriken and see how it works out. We need to get more food now. Car gets stuck in a ditch near a crappy dirt road. The group is close to getting the car out when a roaming horde draws near. Now they must distract the zombies from getting too close. I think I want that, um... I think I want that machete back. very calm considering the situation that we're currently in. Alright, we can leave now. Come on. Yes, let's hit the road. Let's get out of here. Okay. Okay, well then. Um, wind shuriken is uh, pretty decent until it breaks. feel pretty good about this. I mean, overall. Except for the food situation. Um... Mechanical. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they could be getting the hang of this. I think, um, m mechanical uh -huh. is always a good option. Uh, nobody's good at mechanical stuff. All these cars aren't getting any less broken. Okay, so everyone sucks. Jerlene is a little bit better. Blaine is a little bit better. BB is just absolutely terrible. Group camps out in a small gym. The group eats a decent meal. Seven food. It's, time that, uh, it's times like this that make me wonder if we should have been a prepper. There's a large horde of zombies on the road, and the group isn't sure if they could get through them or not. Um, seek shelter in a house. Siege alert. One... Oh god, the group hides in a nearby house to wait the horde. Spurs the zombies end up becoming agitated and they attack. Near sunset and it lasts one hour. Okay. Use gun. If you need to. Damn it. <sighs> 
she's dead. Jerlene is dead. She got <laughs> surrounded. While walking along a dirt road, Blaine thought that he spotted a car in the distance. It was only when he got close he realized it was just a giant rock. What a shame. The group is fortunate to find an abandoned cabin in, in the woods to stay the night, and shortly after setting up a storm, uh, moved in. Luckily for them, they found a cabin in time. They ate a, ate a decent meal. While trekking through the woods, the group gets pretty lost. If they were going like this, they'll be wasted. Blaine. Blaine got hurt. His fitness sucks. Blaine decides to climb a tree to get a better vantage point of the surrounding area. On the way up, the branch was holding his weight breaks, causing him to fall a good distance. Oh, shit. While walking along the road, Blaine spots a gas station in the distance. Not a lot there, um... A lot is there other than a cool looking muscle car next to the gas pump. It has the keys sitting on the dash. Muscle cars like this have slightly worse gas mileage than average and break down fast. They're easy to repair and very fast. Take it off. A sweet jump. The group continues making progress along the death road. Um, as long as one person remains alive, the dream of Canada lives on. You have five food. Can't do anything about that. While driving on the death road, um, group decides to make a stop for a hardware store, factory rescue, a busy park with a car, a uh, busy park with car. Factory rescue. That seems like a death death sentence. I guess we'll just go to the hardware store. Whoa, a chainsaw. Yes, very good. Okay, yeah, pick that up. Good. Weed Whacker. Pick up the Weed Whacker. There you go. Let's get out of here. No, wait, not yet. Let's not get out of here just yet. Use the weed whacker. Let's get out of here, Blaine. You have anything else you can carry for the crowbar? Oh, you think the crowbar is better? Well, if you say so. I'm not getting rid of my items. Hmm. 
Nice. Okay. Oh, this needs gas. Interesting. Got electric. We don't need the frying pan, I don't think. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this. Electric chainsaw. But the shuriken's alright, for now. Uh, the group finds an abandoned campground with a fire pit. BB even finds an old, somewhat stale, extra-large pack of marshmallows. Eat the marshmallows. Group sets up camp and eats a huge bag of marshmallows instead of eating dinner. There's even some left over. Yum. While driving on death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Fishing cabins! The group sees a small row of fishing cabins past the river. Let's go fishing! Gotta luck if underwater creatures are having their own zomb zombie apocalypse. No fishing. Fine. My there it is. There's like nothing else here. Oh, here it is. Fishing pole and shotgun. Wow. I got a fishing pole. And there's nothing else here. Fun. Just some good old times, you know? That was okay, I guess. Hi, Riley. The group attempts to loot a restaurant. They find no food, uh, but there's a bunch of spices and a functioning kitchen. Thanks to the gas generator. Take the gas from... Take the gas from the generator, cook a meal, five food. Or cook a snack to food. Guess cook a meal. Group eats a extra. How's your stream been? I just started. So I don't know. Just yet. The group eats an extra full meal cooked in a kitchen and brimming with flavor. What a moral booster. Um, it's too bad the next meal will be straight from a can. That will be fine. Next time we stop, I should you should know how to make snare traps. Sounds good to me, Blaine. The group finds a new person, Keisha. She's alone and wants to join the team. Claims to be experienced medical in medical matters. She twirls a scalpel around like an expert, but then drops it into a storm drain. <laughs> Sounds about right. Welcome to the team, Keisha. There's nothing wrong with taking detours if they're safer. After a long drive, the group finds a safe place to camp with, uh, with no incidents. The group is low on food and eats less. 
Everyone's moral is decreasing because we have no food now. Great. The group gets a rare peaceful moment to relax on the apartment roof. There's time to talk to... And someone reveals a lot about themselves. Blaine. Blaine reveals the true essence. His true essence. Blaine's strength is terrible. His shooting is terrible. His medical is revealed. He has no insurance. Attitude revealed. Loyalty revealed. Blaine. I didn't know you were like this. The group sees a city in the distance with zombies crowding the streets. Getting back al uh, alive may be difficult. Arcade or lost safe house? I guess lost safe house. Fishing rod. I don't know what I'd use with the fishing rod, but what's that? And a shotgun. I don't need. Uh, let's get rid of the scalpel. She has a rusty machete. We don't need to worry about that. Okay. We got a uh, nail bat or whatever. Yeah, nail bat. I'm smart. More loot. Oh, damn it. Dang it. Spike bat. Now I just need to get an aluminum bat. Junk. Rar. Okay. Next. Ooh. Like, this looks like the place, man. Like this is the place. Time to make a giant sandwich. There's nothing here. Let's go, guys. Actually, let's go this way. how nonsensical the rooms feel. Nice tongue. No. Oh, we searched this place. Come on. 
Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. She whiz. Watch out, guys. Come on. Oh, shit. You guys want to help? Don't grab the hammer. There you go. Oh, shit. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Get out of my way. This way. There's nothing in here. Okay. Oh, I never went that way. There's nothing in there. Okay, did I get everything? I think I did. Alright, let's get Adel out of here. That was a close one. It's nearly time to camp, but there's been a lot of signs of bandits today. So one needs to uh, be awake in case uh, of an attack. Keep driving. Moral decreases. Oh. Um, car's broken down. Uh... He won't be able to repair it unless his uh, repair skill is higher. Wait, he somehow manages to get the car running, but it takes a full day. Oh shit, okay. Lane attempts to fix the pumps. Oh shit. Attempts to fix the pumps, it takes some fumbling, but he gets the pumps running. The group collects uh, up that precious gas, 97 gas. If you close your eyes, like this cat food tastes like tuna. The group continues to make progress along the death road as long as one person remains alive. Uh. Group finds a man selling homemade bombs. Buy my bombs. Get out of her house. There's only one person here. Here we go. Finds a dumpster. It's locked tight with a slot on the side. There are weapon names and prices scrawled near them. Oh, I don't have money. So that is a uh, pretty, 
cool. We need to get uh his uh thing higher. The hell a pipe bomb. He's got like a free pipe bomb. Okay. I don't know if a wrench is really worth it or a fishing pole, honestly. Or an air horn. Or two flashlights that I'm never going to use. There we go. And you got to get rid of those. Use a wrench. Actually, I think he should use the machete. There we go. The weed whacker. Now I can leave the weed whacker here. Could bring the pitchfork. Uh, sure. No, wait. No, 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 no. Keep the inventory nice and clean. We really need food. The group tries to evade a large horde blocked by debris. They get stuck in the in a Yalmart parking lot. They're going to have to fight their way for, uh, he fight here for a while. There might be some food here. We can try to escape. Let's get out of here. Come here. Alright. Yes, let's hit the road. So now we have a whole five food to survive, like, one, one thing. Alright, well, we have an aluminum bat now, which is good. The wind shir shuriken's good. Her thing broke. So I want to give her the aluminum bat for now. Even though she's probably going to end up dying with it. But Here. There we go. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Um, morale and one health healed. Keisha for all skills. Coming a zombie master. Nice. Wait, hold on. How are we on the vehicle? Vehicle sucks right now. Nine more days until Canada. Oh god. Low on food. Just go to sleep. No food? At least I'll lose some weight by the time I get to Canada. Group finds an old Game Bros TM. It's a handheld video game that survived this long. Um, Drawn Biscart. Blaine. It's a racing game. His mechanical got increased. Good. But it made him a little angry. 
so now he should be able to fix the vehicle. Group finds a man in the bat in a bathroom. The man says nothing. He may be upset that you barged into the bathroom, but his face is expressionless, so who knows? He's purple for some reason. Pinkish purple. Don't shit your pants seems to accept your offer. He didn't say anything or even react at all. He did get into the car. If he doesn't jump out, then it's a done deal. Car is broken. All right, Blaine, fix it up. Pops open the hood and easily repairs the car in no time. Yep, my man. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Swarm department, city, row with car, or drive around more. Drive around more. Burn some more gas. Grat grocery store. Moderate, sluggish, and morning. Good. Don't shit your pants has a cardboard tube. Here, you can have a uh, pitchfork. Enjoy that until you shit your pants. Another thing is, uh, you can actually find items by, if you just look at the, uh, thing there. I, I learned that at some point. I forgot when I learned it, when I was playing this originally on the Switch, I think. I was like, oh man, I didn't know you could pick up food from here. And then, I did that. Thank god it's sluggish right now and it's normal. Let's see if there's any food here. There we go. Nice. All right, let's go. There's nothing interesting in here. There we go. Oh my god. I don't think there's anything else here. So I think we're good to go. Let's go. Alright, get in. Let's go. Let's go. 14 food. That'll last us a little bit longer. Everyone's on the sad side currently. Group finds an inn open for business. How goes it for five food? Nice, that helps. Group can't find the car keys. After a while, they spot the keys laying inside a gator's open mouth. After most humans disappeared. Alligators started spreading across the entire coast. It's rumored the gators may eat zombies and car keys. BB shoots the gator. Keisha tires the gator. Uh, tires out the gator. Or Keisha wrestles the gator. She's hurt twice. Keisha passes the gator by chasing it and running from it in hopes that it drops the keys. The gator lunges and chomps at Keisha when. She gets tired. The gator drops the keys. She got hurt twice, though. But luckily for her, we have two things here, so... Uh, driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. 
commercial row? Group drives in a nearby commercial district. The short distance away from shops are visible that seem worth checking out. They're irritated and it's near noon. I don't know why you have a screwdriver. Get it out of here. Okay. I'm a little bit concerned about how uh, how many of these are not available to be to go into. Actual machete. Pick it up. Nice. Oh my god. Don't get hit. I'm getting distracted because I'm seeing like other stuff. That was a- that was a fun weapon. I wish it didn't, like, immediately break. I wish there wasn't a downside to it. Well, I know the machete is, is um, doesn't break. So the sturdy machete is, uh, doesn't break, so. How is that? A blowtorch? What's to pick up the blowtorch? I guess I could, technically. A regular bow. There's like no food or anything here. There's a shotgun here. Alright, well, let's go. I guess. I, I mean, there's nothing else here I can go to. Everything else doesn't- is, like, closed. It's like three buildings. I got some interesting stuff, I guess. Hey, where's my team? this. Okay, well, there's no reason to check over there. Alright, well, let's go. Unfortunate. <laughs> there wasn't really much. Unfortunately, as a group explores the campsite, they are ambushed by bandits. They brandish makeshift weapons. They all demand your weapons. Keisha offers a compromise. Something the bandits want on the road. Half your medical supplies. 
So we just lost two medical supplies. Whoa, it's Cannon. Nice to see a familiar face. He was found trying to pull open a door. Um... I don't want to- I don't want to lose anybody. Well, I guess I'm getting rid of don't shit your pants. With- for- for fucking worst character. Cannon thought the weather was nice. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to- Cobbled together a campsite. The weather is terrible all night. BB didn't mind much. BB's attitude revealed. Doesn't care. Blaine's moral morale decreases. Keisha doesn't ca uh, care. Camden thought the weather was nice. And they lose nine food. BB's morale increases. Just sneak in, grab what we need, then get out of there. Group finds a city in the afternoon, the dead swarm. Notice soon enough a restaurant for more food if possible. Found gun, but I don't need gun. Blowtorch. I don't really want blowtorch. Um I guess a weed whacker wouldn't wouldn't hurt. We don't have any gas, I just realized. Spaghetti. got the spaghetti. We currently have seven food. or well, eight food. Okay. That's not a lot. It'll get us by, but we definitely need more food. Good, 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 good. Nine food. Gas, good. We need gas. Okay. Nothing. Yeah, you also get achievements and stuff if you survive with unique characters, and I should have not recruited Cannon. <laughs> I should have let him the fucking rot, but no, I, I, I fucking picked him up for some reason. This weapon has been proven to be pretty fun. Oh shit, Snub Nose. Let me 
see if there's anything else. There is. There's always more. Ooh, a hatchet. This is a decent weapon. Not too shabby. Now I know the snub nose is a, uh... Nice. Got 16 food. That'll last us a couple... A couple days or so. What was my character anyways? Gordman, a, a Gorman and a surgeon. That's it. And BB has a beady stare. Perfect. Her and Blaine. I really liked both of them. Blaine being like this, like, dad, like, Charlie Sheen guy. And, and BB is just like this... <laughs> this child who's like a surgeon, I guess, or a really short woman. Almost like then her name's kind of like Ewokish, like BB. It's like a, it's like a, it, like a Star Wars character. Oh shit! That was fun. I liked that. It just bounces around, and doesn't care. And it actually like. It looks like it homes on the people sometimes, or is that just me? Maybe I'm just thinking it up. I think I'm just seeing things. We didn't get much gas, though. We only have four gas. Car had to be abandoned. No! Keisha got hurt. No! When you lose the car, everything sucks. Oh, thank God. Okay, so we have to get this car. Alright, let's see if we can get to it. Keep the gun on me just in case. Actually, I'll bring a shotgun. Seems more useful. Sturdy machete. Very good weapon. Actually, I think we should give this to Blake. Or Blake Blaine. Yeah. Seems about right. A cardboard tube. How's the vehicle status right now? It's fine. It's an average vehicle. 
average vehicle. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. All right. All right, we're cool. The group gets confused when the route is becoming a maze. Ah, oh, shit. We're gonna have to take a detour. That took all of our gas, though. Shit, maybe we'll find a place. Group sets up camp outside a grocery store. They notice a group have been following them. and will probably attempt to loot the place. Send one person in. Keisha. Wasn't any food in there. That sucks. I'm just glad we don't have to deal with fast zombies. And we lost the vehicle already. Everything is going wrong. Then you walk around. It's very uneventful. At least there is no zombies or dangers in sight. For the first time in a long time, they're able to drop their guard and walk at the same pace. We don't have any food, so everybody's starting to get panicked. BB hurt their toe. Another vehicle again. Jesus. Okay, what is this? When traveling down a peaceful yet boring stretch of road, Cannon sees a weird cloud. The cloud just looks uh, looks just like a buzzing swarm of bees. The cloud looks like an enormous swarm of bees. It is, in fact, an enormous swarm of bees. BB decides to blow off steam by delivering a seemingly endless rant to everyone. Keisha talks BB down. Keisha convinces BB to calm down and come to an understanding with each other for now. Okay, good. Group continues to making progress along their throat as long as the person remains alive. The dream still lives on. Oh, this place is burning. Flash sale! It's my last customer. You don't have any food? I got out of the bed for this? Uh. uh let's, let's, uh, let's get out of here. I don't have any food. Again. We need to watch out for possible bandit ambushes. Just slowly healing people. Oh god, the group is driving through a ruined city when they end up being surrounded by all of the si uh, at all sides by hordes. They are f uh, funneled into the only place that looks defendable, a ruined mall. Overwhelming late hours, late afternoon. Okay. Here's what it's gonna be. This. Okay. Here's a shotgun. Use it well. Keisha, here's a pistol. Use it well. Camden, here's a uh, cowboy rifle. Use it well. Okay. Everyone's got their, their weapon of choice. I got a Molotov I can use. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh god. Let's see if there's any food. Doesn't look like there is right now. Wait, what the hell? Ready to rock? Yeah, this is what I trained for. Let's go. Thank God. Oof, that was a close one. That was scary. Scary, scary, scary. Okay. I don't know why he has this, uh... Thing here. I will keep the aluminum bat because that's very good. It's a good one. Although, you know what? Here. Take an aluminum bat. You probably do better with it. We don't have any food still. And we don't have much supplies anymore. Um... Morale and a random skill gain. There we go. So everybody's morale is increased. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Let's see here. So their morale gets increased. So BB's strength gets increased to what? <laughs> Blaine's medical increases. Keisha's medical increases and Cannon's fitness increases. We got two Zombo points or something from that. Let me check the status of everybody. We still don't know what her strength is, apparently. Wait. The group camps out of the pro shop near golf course. Keisha looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. Blaine hot wires a golf ball collector. Yes. That'd be awesome. It isn't necessary. Wait, what? Blaine jumps into a golf ball collector and starts running over zombies. Surprisingly effective by the time the collector breaks down, most of the zombies are taken care of. Everybody's and morale increases. The group finds there's no food left and despair creeps in. So people's morale lowered again. So now it's back down to being angry. We really need food. Lane has lost all hope and refuses to keep going. He wanders off to an unknown fate. No! Blaine! <sighs> Gosh dang it. Okay. Well, Blaine's gone now. He was one of the OGs. Uh, God damn it. I mean, his loyalty was low to begin with. So, I guess that makes sense. Let me bring an electric chainsaw. And I'm going to make sure she brings a shotgun. And you bring the pistol. Okay. Let's go.
I don't think we can go any further. Let's go. It's over, I can't get the shuriken. The shuriken! <sighs> Dang it. <sighs> Dang it. It's Butthead! Nice to see a familiar face. The group is frustrated because the CD player in the car is jammed, playing the same song over and over and over again. Who should try to repair it? I don't know, Keisha? Her mechanical got better. She fixed it. Um... The group endures the smell zone all night until passing out. They're not happy in the morning, but they were at least able to sleep. Oh no. While driving Death Row, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. A crowded Yalmart again. Can't get enough of these. At least they're sluggish. I was able to get the food from before. Fuck it. 
like no gas. And I'm injured and I can't heal myself. While walking through the woods, Keisha doesn't pay attention to where she's going and falls deep into a puddle. Submerged. How much? How many more days left? Three more days until Canada. If we had a car. Attacked by ants. She eats a decent meal. Doesn't have enough medical supplies. Don't stub your toe or else she'll die. Okay. this okay whatever I'm in the ant car or something the bug car Keisha is blocked by another survivor uh, group that set up a barricade to protect themselves they're just just dis uh, distrusting and heavily armed person they send to talk to is extremely annoying he keeps saying things like cool it and say it don't spray it Try to not lose your temper. Uh -huh. Keisha talks to the annoying representative. She manages to be very polite after enough pointless questioning. Keisha is let through the barricade. Cool it and say it, don't spray it. Hand food is a lot better when they're when you're able to heat it up. Keisha is sitting around a campfire. Okay, I guess uh plan out tomorrow. It helps her morale. Well, you're almost there to Canada with like no health. Just another day in the death row when someone farts in the car. Who could have done this? We may never know. Get one gas. Zombies are not our only problems out here. Bullet ridden house. Gas station rescue. I guess a junkyard. It will absolutely kill you. It's a vicious d junkyard dog, nothing to do with you. This is a dog's personality. Probably wasn't great before the apocalypse either. Uh, I guess I'll leave the dog alone. It's a feral dog that's going to murder everybody. I like how one of the options is get killed by the dog. At least they gave you the option. Umbrella. I think I can get these. And that, yep. Sturdy. idea. There's nothing else for me here. I guess I'll just go. Got more gas. 
I wish there was more medical supplies. That would be great. Keisha opens the door in, uh, to a tea shop and finds a very fancily dressed woman inside, casually comparing two boxes of tea. She puts the boxes down, um, turns half to you and picks up her umbrella. Recruiter. Lester spins her umbrella around her hand with lightning speed and then snaps to, to the resting pose uh, against her shoulder. She must have practiced that a lot. Welcome to the team, Lester. What do you have on you? An umbrella. That's your main weapon. And a purse. You have to have the purse. Also... <sighs> fuck it, whatever. At the end of the uh, day, the group hides in a drafty old house. Some of the zombies around outside the doors house is barely on hinges. Should someone barricade the house, Keisha, I guess. Quickly without seems very secure. Good. <sighs> it's so quiet here. There's no signs of life. Move quickly and run. Rest for three days. Keisha's killed! Gets ambushed by a single zombie. Unfortunately, a zombie found Keisha first. No! I'm stuck with her. An enormous army of undead shambles. Can uh, border of Canada. Many have tried to get through. Most only succeed in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe Lester will be different. This is the last chance to trade. Twenty-five units of gas. Well, I don't have anything I can use that for. How about you? Hey, hang in there. No, you cool it. Slug shotgun. Erlen almost made it to Canada. She's as far as the city. Sure, join us. Welcome to the team. Tactical spear? Yeah. And my perch? Purse? Alright, come on, charlatan. You're gonna help me. We have to survive for like... Multiple days or something. Alright, let's go. Funny bug car. A landmine. Okay. Giant armies perpetually lurch around Canada border. Okay. Well then. Um. Get rid of the purse. Uh, we definitely want, uh. What do you call it? Here. Use the sturdy machete. This thing sucks. Where's the, uh. Where's the... This tactical spear I spent money on? Hmm? I don't know if this person should be using a sledgehammer. He was a video game... He was a famous video game streamer. Well, famous video game streamer. You're gonna be using a... 
a bat and you're gonna be using a shotgun and you're gonna be using a cowboy rifle and you can have uh, I don't know a pitchfork or something in case the this doesn't do anything Protect me now. There's nothing else in here. Did it. Erlene's dexterity. Uh, the group prepares for a brutal day ahead of them. Canada's close, but the zombie forecast is bad. And we lost the vehicle. Here it is. We have to survive five minutes. Quite unfortunate. How are you guys doing on, on ammo? You guys have random weapons that you don't need. Well, you don't have any ammo anyways for that. Um... I guess I don't necessarily need the pitchfork because it's not gonna help. Um... This kind of will help. And... This will help a little bit. Tiny bit. I guess we don't- oh, we do have a pistol, that's right. Here, why don't I use the pistol instead? Here we go. Or I can give one of them a pistol instead. And I can just bring the, uh, what little there is of that left. Although there is a lot of bullets. Ah, eh, that's fine. It'll do. Alright. Out of the 
away. Protect me! Protect me now! The f He's dead. How am I doing on ammo? God damn it, man. Well. Uh, my team's dead. thing sucks and it doesn't work anymore we have to grab a new um no get out of the way i need the the pistol back off oh here we go get out of my way doing here? Oh, it's BB and Blaine! I don't have enough. Unfortunate. The... the duo. These two. They're great. We almost won on our first try. That's so depressing. Oh, no spoilers. Mr. White. I should make a uh, Jesse Pinkman and uh, Walter White. <laughs> Mr. White. Alright, um, I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Uh...
I want to give... Oh, man. Okay, well... I think, uh... BB and, and Blaine had a good run. I do want to give them a chance some other time. Maybe. But... BB... Blaine... You both were troopers. But I think a new group needs to, uh... To come on in. Sachu and Christian. Christian hears rumors that Canada is a safe place. All right, let's go to the uh, house on the road. Let's go. My shotgun. All right, let's see if Christian and who can survive the zombie apocalypse once again. Let's see if they can both survive and get out of here alive. There's literally nothing else in this house. We found everything. For food. Group sets up a camp outside of the grocery store. You notice the group has been following them. Will they loot a place? Um, obviously Chris Chan. I think, I think, uh, they'll go in there. Sanchu stands guard outside the looters as Chris Chan searches the grocery store. Chris Chan brings back some food. Chris Chan morale, morale, Chris Chan's morale increases. Classic Chris. Now Canada will be, will be any better than here. I, I doubt, I doubt, <clears throat> I doubt anybody will see here. The group stumbles upon a Swolflex home strength and fitness machine. You don't see these much anymore after all the lawsuits against the government ordered recalls. Pick someone to use the Swolflex. It's gonna be Sonichu. Sonichu, uh, the cl machine clamps Sonichu in place for its innovative gymna gymnastics simulator. A high tension cable snaps free and whips around. There's no time to react to it. Sanchu's fitness increases, but Sanchu is hurt. Av no, you better keep using it right now. The machine starts <laughs> starts the patented <laughs> automated total bodybuilding regime. Regiment. Um Sanchu's body makes audible snapping and crunching sounds. How horrifying. Sanchu's strength and he's hurt. Sancho, you no. Know. Gun shop or restaurant? Obviously, restaurant. What do you take us for? A bunch of fools who don't go to a restaurant to get food? You don't need that butter knife, Sancho. You don't need that. These flashlights? Useless. Don't need it. Where's the, the quick mobile? There's some gasoline in here. Uh, 
There's some medical supplies in here for you, Sadachu. Get away from me, you damn trolls! Sonic-chew? Okay. You better not die on me, Sonic-chew. Zap to the extreme. Finally, a place just for me. Food. God. Looks like we're at a dead end. Chris's strength doesn't even exist. <laughs> I like punch him and nothing happens. More health for you, buddy. Just for you. As long as you don't die. Where's my where's my medallion? Where's my medallion? Where's my real medallion? The group sets up camp at the safest place they could find, an abandoned mini golf park. The group eats a decent meal. In the morning, they find a golf ball and a putter. While searching the area, the group decides to play a quick game. Christian gets some needed exercise. Oh shit, we can't let that happen. Let's try to find a faster car. This is taking forever. Classic Sonic shoe. Group uh, loots a dentist office, finding leftover medical supplies and, and many technical edible tubes of toothpaste. Chris Chan goes, goes to the waiting room and grabs a magazine from their sparse uh, selection. Pick a magazine. Glurge for the sensitive soul. Chris Chan realizes that this magazine has always been corny but still enjoys the optimistic stories. One story is about a cat that save its, saves its owners from choking a buffet inspirational. And then, and then Christian hears cat and then goes, meow, 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 meow. I'm a cat, meow, meow, meow. This is all just like my online zombie video game. Outside Canada, most society, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Whoa, look at this badass. The group meets a strange menacing figure. He or she is wearing a mask or a robe. 
Give me a medieval axe for 20 food. No, I don't think Chris would want to part, part with that. Sledgehammer or Mega Maul? Mega Maul. I actually bought Mega Maul. I didn't mean to actually buy that. Oops. That was an accident. Silence pistol. Get out of her house. Yeah, in my head, Ning. Yeah, in my head, Ning. Mega Ma. Sanchi, you can, you can use the. No, no, no. Give me that. You can use the the, the pistol. Actually, no. I'll, I'll keep it. I'll, I'll, I'll keep. I'll keep. I'll, I'll keep the the pistol. Can this car go any faster? Classic Sonichu. Zap to the extreme. Um. Wandering dog nearby is keeping distance and watching a group of guarded interests. It become rare to see a dog. Yes, recruit the dog. Amrita. We now have a dog named Amrita. Everything smells a lot different than it did before soap became rare. You should know what, what not having a soap around smells like. A uh, city is covered in hordes and undead wreckage it has been touched by a previous fire. The group set is surrounded. Their only chance is sprinting through the sewers. Oh. Go, 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 go! Get out of here. Come out. Get out of there. Made it. This car isn't going uh, to last forever. Group feels inspired. Um. Random around skill gain. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Sanchez morale increases. Christian's medical increases. Sanchez's mechanical increases. Amarita's strength increases. Alright, so we'll need to go and use our points real quick. I just need to go over here. Oh, I forgot to turn my light on. Alright, hold on. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab a water. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> Here we go. I forgot I I forgot to turn the light back on. Okay. 
I just need to spend the, the, the points. The group camps out in the big field. You don't have any food or or uh, gas. The group finds a candy bar on the side of the road. It's fun size. Who gets to eat it? Who do you think is gonna eat it? Chris Chan eats that candy big time. This uh, sugary sweetness makes him feel a little better about his current life in not Canada. Oh. Oh, uh, what is this? The group finds a professional car garage with a sign that says Car Pros. They find some gas and lots of scrap metal. Just need time to tinker. Tanachu hmm. tries to tinker the car. It goes a little further for breaking da down. He has no idea what he's doing and wastes the time. Pretending to work on the car. Well. I guess we want to go to the, uh, prepper cabin. I don't know. A stick. A, a giant. What the hell did he just pick up? Giant, a big, fr big freaking log. Who's picking up the freaking log? Yeah, don't drop that. Get in. Big friggin' log. Got a regular old chainsaw, a snub nose, another hatchet, and a giant freaking log. <laughs> How much damage does the big freaking log do? I'm kind of curious now to look this up real quick. I'm a curious kitten. Hold on. I got- I got to know. Oh, good. Um... Wait, big freaking log. Here we go. It's unbreakable. It's a D-tier weapon. According. To this, but it does it does five extra hits. It has a power of three, knockback of four. Interesting. Albert, Albert's cool looking. We have Mega Mall. Interesting. Now I know about the the fucking big frickin' log. Why don't you use the big frickin' log, Sonic? You wield it. Free healthcare in Obama's America. Whoa! It's schizo. It's nice to see a familiar face. He's sitting in the park reading a book. 
Sure. Come on board, Schizo. It gets late and there's no great place uh, to camp. Solo zombies hobble around in far distance and one might sneak up um, on the group while they sleep. Who should stay up? Make shifts. Group takes turns sleeping during the night. With a full group, there's enough people to get plenty of sleep. Group eats a decent meal. Wow, the normal option worked. Group meets a woman limping around on a crutch. Tries to treat the woman's busted leg. He takes a day to help the woman treat her leg. She's thankful but can't spare much. That helps. Gotta eat the zombies, of course. Good idea. Uh oh, looks like Sanchu's not happy right now. Sanchu gets into a big argument with Schizo. Sanchu drives faster. Actually rams into a, a pole. That's okay. Sancho actually slams his hand on the car door. Ominous labs. Alright. Uh, here, you can have a hatchet. Enjoy. Okay. I'm ready. some food. Alright, let's go. Giant massive log of death. You got this, Sonic Chew. I believe in you. I believe in you. Is this looks like some sort of mad machine thing there's uh, nothing telling Christian enters the machine gets blasted by mysterious science rays until the machine ceases the work he feels energized his strength got increased by a little bit and he feels faster oh my gosh he's zooming now went into this this weird machine and he came out stronger than before Maybe he'll think he's the chosen one or something. Here we go. There's the key. This way, if I remember. No, I'm being dumb right now. I think. Here we 
Here we go. Okay. So we need 80 gas. Because we don't have that much gas. We also need food, but we got a decent amount of food here. So this works out. Crit. I got a crit with this. Then uh, you could get a crit with this. Wait, let's go this way. Because it's getting dark now and I'm getting scared. Chris Chan is actually becoming stronger, which is annoying. Um. It's with all this zombie stuff. I don't know, Chris. Bandits catch the group by surprise. Run for it. Everyone's fitness is revealed. Everyone is weak. We should go shooting or something. The car's broken down. Sanchu punches the car. And he just manages to hurt himself instead. What did you say? They felt very intimidated. Says the cool as last words. All food and gas. Everyone's mad right now. Okay, well. I'm trying my best, okay? We didn't even have any gas anyways, so... Let's go. Get in the car, let's go. It's like a like a muscle car or something. We have two food. Riled up house. I don't know if that's a good idea. Grocery rescue. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck around and find out. Alright, you can stop using the big ol' log. You can have like a regular machete. And Amarita has like a gun for some reason. Okay. Okay. Says that he really wants to get to know this place. And ask if he can follow you around. Sure. 
be careful. You can get him out of here alive. He'll be handy distraction if you can't. Frit. Be helpful with killing the, the zombies. There's only 11 food here. Are you sure? You got games on your phone? Nice moves, little dude. Alright, everyone get in. We gotta get away from these trolls. Stash of 15 food. Yes. Very good. We do need medical supplies. Alexander, he's good at fixing cars. Sure. Bye, dog. Um, the group has set up camp on a nearby highway. A bunch of abandoned cars that are broken and may have a little bit of gas. Alexander, go and get him. Siphon gas, but actually swallows a bit and gets really sick th uh, that night instead of sleeping. 43. But everybody gets to eat a decent meal, so. Road trip. <laughs> Road trip. Looking through the office building, group finds a safe that has been left open. There's nothing there but papers and texts and all jumbled makes no sense. Must be important. Who should decipher them? Schizo. Schizo almost instantly forgets what he was doing and wanders off. However, he stumbles on a small cache of supplies elsewhere in the office. Good job. Nope. We're running into anything. It looks like, uh... Christian heals everybody for some reason. Very odd of them to do. Trainer is a sturdy military thing. Tacticop light. What the hell is a tacticop? Oh, it's like a flashlight. Bunch of weapons I don't care about. What do you sell? 15 food for shotgun shells. I don't care. I think he can teach mechanical stuff, right? Group training. Say it, don't spray it. Group training for 15. Teach everybody mechanical stuff. Welcome to the Fence of Values. It's an interesting fence. Mechanical is all right, but now he's better. Let's go. Let's get it. Really need to be careful with our supply of gas. Group accidentally disturbs a lot of undead while scouting a city. This cha uh, causes a chain reaction of blunders. Your sin boosts surrounded, and the only chance is running through a tunnel on the road. Try to survive. Alexander only has a wrench. Not anymore. You have that now. Meat cleaver. Get out of here. Okay. I like the idea that he 
doesn't actually get a crit. He just says crit because it makes him feel better or something. Like he thinks he's playing a video game. Stay out of there. I'm being greedy. I'm being greedy. No! What's the point in living? What's the point in living? There's no point. There's no point. You lose Chris Chan, you lose everybody. That's the rules. There we go. You can't lose them. Hold on, I'm gonna actually fix Chris Chan's character. Is there a better one? Yeah. Big Bruiser. Fierce Tempered. Or... No, that makes sense. Fierce tempered. Okay. New game. Empty. Big bruiser. And hero type. Okay. This is it. Hit the road. Jack. Oh, good. I like how uh, Sonichu's loyalty is is fucking the highest you can possibly have. I think it has to do with the hero type. Alright. Um, quiet hotel. He just, he just says it. He just says it just to mess around. There we go. Silly Chris. But yeah, this is C1, this is C139 Chris. This is different from, um, our reality Chris. So there's, like, some, some smaller differences with, uh, this Chris. the little pitter-patter of the feet. Get out of here. Crit! Missed! Missed! Yeah, we had a good thing going with, um, that first run with them. And also the, the first run that we did. Here 
There's nothing else here. In the morning, there's a moose outside of the camp. The moose is a really powerful. Probably best not to mess with it. Leave it alone. I guess it's forever. Uh, th this is um, forever now. It sure feels like forever. Who spots an infested city on the road? Uh, hardware store, I guess. No, I should have went to the sports store. Shit. Whatever. I just love the idea that he just says crit. Snow shovel. Toilet. Toilet loot. You better get out of my way. Or else you're gonna get what's coming to you. Dang it, there's just nothing. Shoot, sorry. There's nothing here. Where's all the, the gangster loot? Oh my god. Calm down, Sonic, you. Seems a little overkill, don't you think? nothing here for us. Let's leave. Quite unfortunate. We should have went to the sporting store because there might have been an aluminum bat there. Which I know is a pretty decent weapon. Said I got this stupid snow shovel. I think I could ever get tired of canned meat. Place a bit of safe house is a little bit out. Uh, ammo inside. On further searching, some unfinished pipe bombs. No. I think the last thing I want is Chris messing with pipe bombs. Eat the marshmallows. Free food. I know what I'm doing. I've played a lot of video zombie games. Abandoned house. Miracle happens. They find a government ration box unopened. To their horror, it turns out there is a dog poop sitting right on the handle of the supply box. There's no way to open it without touching the poo. Have someone open it. Sachu, open it. Opens the box. Was What was the big deal? He never noticed the dog poo. Chris Chan is grossed out, though. Makes makes Sachu do it. Sachu didn't even notice it was even there in the first place. 
Chris gets like throws up and has like a fucking fit about it. Medieval axe would probably be pretty good. That's, I think, the one he's using right now, the little alien guy. Pipe bombs? No. Small chihuahua looking dog thing. It's a small animal. It looks kind of like some kind of rodent. I'm not an expert in on what it is and isn't a rodent. It's a tiny dog. Trade a hundred gas. I have a hundred and twenty things of gas. Two cans of food for every twenty-five units. That's not bad. I do want the axe. Medieval axe. It's my axe now. I guess, uh, train us. Get four food. I don't know if it was worth it. Group finds a new person, Yuna. She's alone. She's experienced with medical stuff. Says she wasn't a doctor doctor, but catches herself. Okay, well, I guess we have a medical person on the team. Right? No one ever listens to me. The city's covered with hordes. Sprint through the sewers, and it's late at night, and we can't see. You have your stupid axe, or whatever. You keep your machete. keeps ab absolutely demolishing zombies like that, I'll consider it worthwhile. A worthwhile purchase. I think her machete just broke. What? Hello? No, 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 don't stay for now. Climb out. Okay. Jeez. This thing uses 10 gas per. Um. Mechanical? Teach everybody mechanical. Plus two the medical. Yuna's medical is better. Robs them and runs. Easy time robbing a peaceful camp. Speeds off the next day. Chris Chan's loyalty revealed. Makes sense. So I choose morale de decreases. Loyalty revealed. Morale increases. So you know we'll, we'll be going to leave really easily. Everyone's tired. Um... Mechanical. Yuna. Mechanical's better now, so she can fix the vehicle. Wouldn't have happened if Obama... I know! Thanks a lot, Obama! Stash in the woods fancy house. 
Let's go to the fancy house. Maybe there's something decent there. Who knows? Here. It's locked. Oh my gosh, those are some fucking long legs. The hell, Yuna? Frick. Oh, a fire extinguisher. I'll show you why they call this the Darth Maul. Darth Mog. Numbers, it looks like a safe combination just sitting in the bathroom. Sure, I'm tired. Some machine gun. I'll take it. Get out of my way. I'm gonna take this some machine gun. This Uzi. We got an Uzi. We did it. Found like no gas though. This is all just like my online zombie video games. I love those games, you know? We have no car now. We got hurt by a cat. Uh, grab the extra weapons. Yeah, I don't want to lose the weapons. On a hybrid car. What the hell? A group gets ambushed by a horde of zombies while running. They encounter a woman already swarmed into a corner. It looks hopeless. Then she suddenly turns into an anime magical girl. Zombies don't have a chance against this. Recruit her instantly. Matthias Chan sparkles, lifts her lovely wand, and emits heart beams. A new team. Let's make a difference. Matthias joins the team onward to Canada. Will Senpai ever notice me now that everyone is undead? No. Pick someone to secure it. I guess Sonic Chew. Mechanical. His wits revealed his mechanical sucks.
will succeed by the power of my love beam. <laughs> the group finds a perfect throwing rock on the ground and is next to a low fence guarding a big fall at the bottom. This uh, drop is a single zombie standing there staring at nothing in particular. It's too good to pass up. Someone must throw the rock at the zombie. Um, you do it. You suck. Accidentally throw, um, is compelled to throw a rock at a hapless zombie. She keeps accidentally throwing the rock in, in ways that make it return to her. First it was straight up, then next a few times it hit the fence. It goes for, for several hours, eventually throws the rock over the fence just barely, and she, she's nearly dead from exhaustion by then. Managed to hurt herself in the process. Her strength is meh. Her wits doesn't exist. So pretty much everyone sucks at almost everything except for, I guess her, she's pretty good at stuff. Oh, come on, guys. Don't be angry. Pot of thinking kick and shield him from the horrors of reality. Wait. Sonic choose incredible powers of positive thinking kick in. Shielding him from the horrors of reality. Really, things aren't going too bad here. Shantu's morale increase. He gains strength from hope. Shantu's strength increases. Shooting increases. Attitude inc uh, is revealed. Shantu's atti attitude decreases, though. Athletic store, furniture store. Why would I go to a furniture store? I guess athletic store. Got a fucking submachine gun. Kitchen knife. It's not a tactical knife, so it doesn't matter. Room. She is the lovely wand. Okay. Well, it's yellow, so surely this will be good. Miku Beam. I'll have you know that, uh, Chris Chan is a big fan of Sailor Moon. Miku Beam, Miku Beam. At least they have this fucking axe or something. This freaking dum 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 axe. Heart beam. 
tinha... Think Senpai will notice me? weapon. I mean, it's not that OP, but it's still pretty good. Chihuahua, am I right? We have no food again. Guys, come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. He actually slams the car door and hurts himself. Is man. The answer is a man. Congratulations, you solved the riddle. You got a bunch of food and health stuff. Incredible powers of positive thinking kicks in, shielding her from the horrors of reality. Yippee. Morale increases strength. Gain strength from hope. Open or er, sh strength increases. Shooting increases. Attitude decreases fancy factory or swarmed rest stop I guess the fancy factory Here. it's not sure you can have the uh the axe I guess she needs health bad Highest chan. I guess there's nothing in these. Is this the it's just a machine, it doesn't matter. Okay. Fine. We just really need a win here. You know? of paper, a series of numbers, looks like a safe combination. Okay. I can't believe Senpai became a zombie.
I got a wacky fire extinguisher. Okay, here's the problem. There's supposed to be a safe somewhere. I must be missing something. Did I go that way? I did. I must be missing like a door somewhere, right? Nothing. What am I missing? Uh, maybe there, there is no, maybe there is none. It never existed, it never was. There was never anything to begin with. It was all a lie. Bruh. I'm missing. Is it this thing? No. Oh, here we go. food. Fifteen food. We need the food bad. Got more medical supplies. We need a lot of it. That's for sure. Nice. Okay. Now we can leave. Left with a bunch of gas, more healing stuff. This cat food doesn't taste that bad. The campsite was was rough, but everyone is getting better. Tries uh, bringing their spirits together. Whether or not singing was any good mostly depends on your attitude. We just need a, a, an overall morale booster. What we need is a lot of chainsaws. 
a group Lutz McDowell's, Lutz McDowell's, which was the most popular restaurant in the United States before civilization fell. Even after all this time, the food found here was still preserved due to all the chemicals. Burging is not great for your health, but won't kill you. Kids meals toys instead. Find and eat burgers and pay the burg price. So, do I have them take damage? No. A pukey ball found. That was a pukey ball. Guess I'll use a pukey ball. It's always uh, worth trying to loot the place or else we could... We were driving along a stretch of road and there's no threats. I should try Pukey Ball. Whoa! Meryl? Is that you? Scavenger's selling extra bullets. Molotov's a chainsaw parking meter. Better for aiming, better aiming. An Uzi. No, leave Emma. Some great weapons, no. No. I made that mistake last time. I can get a silent sniper rifle. Silence pistol for three food. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna waste my ammo on anything here. Or my money. This thing needs to be fixed. This car needs to be fixed right now. Nine more days left. Oh, we have to survive. Okay. You don't, you don't need that on you, right? Don't need those. God, let's hit the road. Let's get out of here. I got hit once, unfortunately. What the hell happened to Mat Matthias? Uh-oh. She seems to be getting more anime by the day. Uh-oh. Two plus strength. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna fix the vehicle. Pops open the hood. She just needs to get her thing higher and she'll be able to do it again. Those zombies around when they wake up, the building is on fire. Plan out an escape. The plan is to lead the escape. You know. Wits is not very good, but every everybody gets hurt. Unfortunately, this is not good. Everyone's mechanical skill sucks. Can we just run over zombies with the car? Suddenly explodes while on the road. Everything heavily damaged by flying shards of anime. Anime girl gets obliterated. Chris Chan is hurt. Sachu is killed. Yuna is killed. Um. Everyone is dead except for me. Chris Sachu was just murdered. You know, was just murdered. The only thing that remains is Chris Chan. And his fucking lack of skills. He has a cool hockey stick, though. These are already empty. Some those. Nice. Well, what's not nice is everyone's dead. That's not nice at all. It's terrible. Chris Chan is all alone without a Sonic Chew. If only there was Rose Chew, you know? If only Rose Chew was here. Get out of here. <laughs> what 
the frick? Why is it just garbage? Come on now, game. We're getting a lot of food or whatever. I have this cool sports thing. Now, what we've established takes off some weight from the barbell, but not as much as he can't get super pumped. His strength increased. Grunting noises. You need to fend off zombies between reps. Watch out. Swole. Or at least a little swole. Not like completely swole. But just a tiny bit swole. Where it matters. Now we can leave. Unfortunately, Chris Chan's mechanical is terrible. Which is not good, because this vehicle is going to break down at some point. What's with all the zombie stuff? Medical is probably terrible as well. Shoot the cans. Uh-oh. Aha! Play more video games. Yeah, probably. Quiet farm or packed grocery store. Quiet farm would have, um, fun stuff in it. Big office complex, I guess. Oh. 
magazine. Cool runnings. No. I don't want to get fucking... I don't want to get fucking goat seed. The zombies. I'm thinking... It's a nice desk. De de uh. Oops. Frantic whiner and gun collector. He looks like a mafia member. <laughs> a flight attendant. Flight attendant and mafia member. Rosenda and Murr. give up. I'm tired. Um, I have a long day at work for the next couple days, unfortunately. So. Ain't no rest for the wicked. <sighs> Ain't no rest for the wicked. So, yeah, that's going to be me for now. Um, we'll be back on Tuesday. <laughs> that's when I'm going to be available again. Or actually, not even on Tuesday. Not even on Tuesday. I'll be back Wednesday. I know. Fucking, I literally will not, I don't have another fucking time when I can actually stream really and not suffer. Not tomorrow, not Saturday, not Sunday, not Monday, not Tuesday. All those days are going to be terrible for me, pretty much, especially Sunday. When I have to fucking, ugh, fuck work. Okay, anyways, all right, I'm gonna go now. Um, I, I'll be back fucking Wednesday next week. <laughs> fucking, so stupid. Fucking, I hate it. I hate it here. I hate it here. fucking hate it here. All right, well, I hope you have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. I'm gonna go cry or something. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
see you then, hopefully.